Hello guys, welcome to another beautiful video of the concepts and questions of statistics for GMAT. Today's topic, mean and median combined. We have learned the theory of mean as well as median. I hope you have seen that. If you haven't seen that, go back to the videos and watch the conceptual videos first. I'll be using the formula of the mean as well as the median. So I hope you know it. Let's continue. Okay, so we are given a set some numbers how much greater than the median of the numbers is the mean of the numbers so i'm looking for that how much greater is my mean from the median standard symbol for mean is x bar standard symbol for median is n so let's calculate both of them and then subtract to find out how much is this mean greater than the median i hope the question is clear try it on your own you will have some habit of applying the formulas before we go to the big questions or difficult questions. I am trying it out. If you haven't done, pause the video and try on your own. Okay, let's have a look at this. So first of all, I'm calculating the median. How many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Even numbers. So 6 by 2, that is the third term plus the fourth term divided by 2. But what is the third term and fourth term? 5 and 2 absolutely not remember arrange the set in ascending or descending order otherwise you'll get the wrong median so let's arrange it in ascending order 0 2 4 5 8 and 11 now the third and the fourth term third term fourth term so it's 4 plus 5 by 2 that's 9 by 2 and 4.5 i have the median guys the only thing left for me is to find out the mean. Mean is sum of numbers upon total numbers. You know they are 6. Now the question is about the sum of the numbers. Now, add smartly. Pick up the pairs. 8 and 2 make 10. 5, 4, 9. And an 11. Another 20. 0 does not make sense in addition. So 20 and 10, 30. Comes out to be 5. So how much is mean greater than the median? 5 minus 4.5, that is 0.5. That's it. That's your answer. I hope you were there. If yes, you can directly move ahead to the good questions videos. I'm going to cover some basics so that we cover these videos for each and every kind of person, even who does not have mathematics background. Right? Let's go ahead. Try the next question. So this is 0.5. Very good. Okay, now before moving ahead, very, very important concept. Given the ascending set xx, y, 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 what is greater, the median or the mean? What do we know? We know that these are ascending order. They are already set in the ascending order. What is the important concept? Look, let us say we have a set which have all the tens. What is the median? 10. What is the mean? The mean is 10. Now, what if I add a number in this set which is another 10? The mean remains the same. No change in the mean. It is still 10. What if I add a number smaller than the 10? Let us say 7. Now, the mean becomes less than 10 because you have added a smaller number similarly what happens if you add a bigger number for example let us say now i have the tens and the number i added was 12 now the number added is greater than the tens now the mean will rise it will go greater than the 10 because of this 12 this is something more than 10 anything more than 10 is added mean will be greater than 10 of course given that all the others were 10 or the mean of the set was 10 okay so this is the concept which i'm going to use in this question how let us see all right so these are in the ascending order how many terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 what's the mean 6 by 2 third term plus fourth term divide by 2 arrange it in ascending order or it is already given it in ascending order so what's the mean third term is y fourth term is y y plus y upon 2 
2y upon 2 and I get the median as y. But what's the mean? It's difficult to identify the mean or compare it with y. But if we know this concept which we just learned, it's very easy. See, you have all the y's. Now you are adding some number which is less than y. It is an ascending set that means x is definitely less than y. So I am adding two numbers which is less than the mean. So definitely the mean will go on the lower side from y. Why? Because you have added the smaller numbers. If you would have added the larger numbers, the mean would have gone greater than y. But you added the smaller numbers. So mean is less than y. Median is equal to y. So definitely median is greater than the mean. I hope this is understood. Important concept if you haven't understood this, again replay the video where I explain this concept. Simple funda. If you add a number smaller than the mean, the mean reduces. If you add a number greater than the mean, the mean increases. I added smaller than y, the mean decreased. I hope it is clear. Well, let's move ahead and see if we have any more question for you on mean and median. Yes, we do. So one last question, which includes a little bit of calculation as well. And then we'll move to the next video where we will discuss the basics of range and modulus and from there on we'll move ahead to the difficult level questions okay so this is a set of numbers we have fine mean is given to us as 9 and the median is given to us as 7 and the question asks us to find out the value of x all right very good we'll find it out so you are giving us the mean you're giving us the median two equations two unknowns x and y I think I'll be able to do it very easily. Let's try. I hope you've tried it. If you haven't yet, please pause the video and try once on your own and then see the solution. So first I'm going for median. It is already saying me that it is in ascending order. Let's make the equation from the median easy. So how many terms? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. 9 terms. What is the central term? Odd. So 9 plus 1 upon 2, that is the fifth term. That is the median. As simple as that. If it is even number of terms, then it is little critical. Right now, very simple. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So median is y. And what is the median given to us? 7. So that means I know that y equals to 7. That's the median. Sorted. Now the game is to find out the x as well, right? And now we know the mean. So what is the mean? Sum of numbers, mean given to us is 9. Sum of numbers, let's add them up. So if we add them up, this minus x will get cancelled with 1x. The rest all will be saved. So how many y's in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6y. And how many x? 1, 2, and 3. All right, 6y plus 3x. How many numbers? We had 9 numbers. So this is the equation. And wait a minute, we also know the value of y. So we'll put it over here. So we have 81 equals to 42 plus 3x. This goes over here and I'll be left with 39 equals to 3x. And x comes out to be 13. That's it. We are done with this. That's how he can combine mean as well as median and you are expected to know the basic formulas. If you know them, you'll clearly and easily get the questions. Again, these questions are of level 600 to 620 right now. Slowly, slowly I've increased the level and by the end of the videos, we'll be doing 700 plus questions as well. So keep watching and of course, watch from the start if you want to master this, that you can be very sure that you can attempt each and every question. You might feel, some of you of course, that some of the questions are very easy, but they are very much important to strengthen the concepts, right? And of course, if you are a beginner, you have to watch from the starting and I would recommend that you watch the conceptual videos two times and try all the questions on your own. Don't just skip to the solutions, give some time to them. 
all right guys signing off from mission mba i hope you are enjoying the series stay tuned make sure you like subscribe and share with your friends free content absolutely enjoy it and have fun bye bye